Hello, Karina, Keith, Patrick, Abby, and little what's his name? Oh yeah, James. I guess it's been a while since you've seen the house, so I thought I'd take a walk and show you what we look like now in Florida. It's about 8.30, 9 o'clock in the morning. So the sun's at a pretty good angle. It's pretty sunny out here. Of course, you see my Subaru up there in the driveway. And we have all kinds of palm trees. There's a bougainvillea with the red flower bracts on it. trying to walk and keep this camera steady, which is not so easy, walking in the grass. And there's some taller palms there. Big one in the back there is a coconut. We got lots of coconuts. to us is still empty. There's the big coconut tree there. You get these big green coconuts that weigh about three or four pounds. They're deadly if they hit you when they fall from the tree. Got kind of quite a bit of glare off of the screen, so I hope I'm showing some decent angles here. to the backyard there. You see it's kind of cluttered. There's a neighbor back there that has a fence up. Here's a neighbor to the other side. He's got an old van in the yard and a truck, his work truck. But as you can see I've got bedding all around the house with plants in it. backyard is kind of special because I've got it all planted back on the lot line and of course in the bedding it's panned down to the front there's the view of the street some royal palms there and the neighbor across the street backyard. If it looks like a jungle, that's because it is. Here's some of my gardening stuff. These are plants that are in pots. A bunch of crotons and stuff. Palms. I give them away to whoever wants them. Right now I'm saving a bunch for my neighbor. She indicated she wanted some 
plants for her yarn. She had given me the hospital bed for Barbara. And here's a pathway through to the lot behind the house. You see a butterfly flying through there. There's another one. We have butterflies all over. It's a butterfly garden back here. Have all kinds of host plants. Okay, so there's the back lot and the street in the back side. We'll go out here, show you what it looks like from the back, what the house and the yard looks like from the back. Okay, we'll rotate around. There's a fence on the other side, and there's our backyard. As you can see, looks like we live in a I live in a forest or something. It's pretty thick. Have some bananas on the banana tree. probably be ready to pick in about a month. I have to get on a ladder to pick them. They're too high to get from the ground. Go back in on the little pathway through. You can see how nice and shady it is in here. You can probably hear me walking. I have all kinds of leaf clutter on the ground to keep the weeds down. There's bedding in the back with back beds are all, all planted. They're kind of sparse and not looking swell now because I didn't do anything all the while that Barbara was sick. I just couldn't get time to get the yard yard done. And since she passed, I've come out here, I pushed myself to come out and do an hour to two a day, getting things cleaned up. There's some more plants and pots. Here's some small banana plants and pots. There's a little patio I put in. It was pretty when it was new, but it's got all kinds of growth in between the cracks now. There's a lanai doorway I had put in so I could put this patio out here. It was real pretty when everything was small, but stuff starts getting big and leggy. It's not so pretty anymore. That's an Australian tree fern right there in the front. As you can see we have more palm trees still in here. And some flowers. There's the other side of the yard. There's my wheel, little wheel, plastic wheelbarrow. banana plant there. There's a big pile of wood clippings. I have a little shredder. When I trim the trees back here, I just run them through the shredder and turn them into potting mix mixed with the sand down here. This stuff makes a nice potting mix. Some more banana plants. And 
Here's a bunch of palm trees in containers back here. I have about a half a dozen coconut palms that are about 10 feet tall right now. But we bought them at the store that cost you about 100 bucks a piece. I'm looking for somebody to give them away to. There's some more palms in containers. There's a little butterfly there. Let me see. Oh, no. These butterflies that you're seeing, it's early for most butterflies. They don't start coming out until about 10 or so. But the butterflies you're seeing in here are uh, uh, called zebra longwing. I'm standing in a bunch of the middle of them, and now I can get them. They're up in the air there. Anyway, they're called zebra longwing butterflies. They're a state butterfly of Florida. And we've had this colony here probably for five years or six years. So there's always a half a dozen of these guys flying around, and they come out early in the morning. Not quite at sunrise, but it doesn't take them long unless it's cold out. But on these summer days, they're out pretty quick. Some crotons in the bed. And this is on the other, this is a neighbor on the other side. There's his pool cage. They're the nasty people. Uh, he's been sick for a long time, and I haven't seen him for a long time. I don't know whether he died whether he's still kicking along but I think he must have had dementia or something because he was didn't look like he could walk anymore or drive anymore or talk anymore or anything else another palm there get around this weeping bottle brush tree and there's the other that's the original doorway entrance to the lanai over there. So there's two doors on the lanai now. I use the other one all the time, but because it's so long, um, I just kept in both doors. And there's some more palm trees growing up. They're up near the soffit and fascia area. And there's the master bedroom. And this is looking front toward the street again. And there's that Subaru car again. Right up in front is a coral bougainvillea, you can see. It's garbage day, that's why you're seeing these garbage cans out on the street. So that's what it looks like now. It's all full of plants. Hurricane Charlie pretty much forced me to change everything. You notice we don't have that big uh, um, Indian rosewood tree in the front yard anymore where that group of bushes is right there in the front is where it used to sit, but Charlie demolished that. that 
put a planter out there after they ground it up so everything grows nice in there. Anyway, that's what we look like. I'm signing off.